Once we've identified all of the values to the questions on the screen, we can move on and we can use the paperweight formula to calculate the weight of the paper. To review, the paperweight formula consists of three columns. The first column, we're going to multiply our paper size. Um, this is the size of paper that we are purchasing, so it doesn't always have to be the size we're running on press, but for all of our examples, our PSS or press sheet size will also be the size of the paper that we are purchasing. And so in our formula, it'll be the PSS size divided by the basic size of paper, and that's the ideal size that a particular type of paper will be manufactured in. In our class, we're only concerned with three categories, and that is cover weight stock, which is 20 by 26 inches for its basic size, stationary stock, which would be bond and writing paper, uh, that has a basic size of 17 by 22 inches, and then anything that goes on the inside of paper, uh, I'm sorry, of a book, would be 25 by 38. Examples of that would be offset, opaque, text, and book stock. The second column will be the number of sheets that we are purchasing divided by 500. Make sure that you're using the number of sheets in the middle column, not the number of items. Sometimes we're going to print, let's say, letterheads, and our letterheads are 8.5 by 11, and our paper size is 8.5 by 11. That's just a coincidence that our item and our sheet size are the same. In most examples, we will have a smaller item that's printed on a bigger sheet. So make sure you're dividing the number of sheets by 500. We divide by 500 because the basis weight of stock, which we're going to multiply by in our third column, is defined as the weight of 500 sheets of paper in its basic size. Let's take a look at the example we've been working with. How much does 71,429 sheets of 23 by 35 inch paper weigh if I tell you that it's 80 pound opaque text weight stock? The formula that we'll use to calculate this is the size of the paper, 23 by 35, divided by its basic size, its text weight stock, so its basic size is 25 by 38. Then we'll take 71,429 sheets and divide that by 500, and then multiply the whole thing by 80 pounds. I'd like you to give this, another, this next example a try on your own, and in the next video I'll go through the answer with you. How much does 117,000 sheets of 24 by 36 inch 80 pound gloss coated cover weigh?